Hey, come here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come help. I'll get you down. Hi everybody, welcome to your mid-month readings. And I want to make two important, very quick announcements. One is, I am still, and this has been going on probably for about seven or eight months, but it's still going on. I have kind of given up contacting YouTube. It's not doing me any good. But I have gotten uh, emails from people specifically saying that, and I, this is so sweet, somebody wrote me, they would never unsubscribe from my channel and they logged in to watch my videos and it showed unsubscribed. So that is still happening. I'm sure I'm not the only channel this is happening to, but it's really been a problem, you know, with my channel. I just from my experience and the emails that I'm getting. So thank you for alerting me. You know who you are. So thank you for all of you out there. So if you want to subscribe to my channel, make sure that it is on the red button, subscribed. And then you go over to where the little bell is, I call it Tinker Bell, and you click on that bell. I did a video about it. Uh, it should still be on my playlist somewhere, maybe under Moonwater Tarot Announcements. And then you can get alerted when my videos get released. Uh, the other quick announcement is that I am going back to just releasing the videos based on views. And the reason why I'm doing this is sometimes I have so many readings in a day. They may be scheduled, but I do a lot of private video readings. And so in order for me to, so I'm not exhausted, um, I may do like the mid-month or the monthly video. Um, I try and start like 10 days ahead of time. And sometimes I'm overloaded that I only get to do one video a day or two videos a day. And I'm sitting on videos for like four or five or six days. And it doesn't feel right to me because I feel like, you know, those that are watching me the most, the signs that are watching me the most, they should have that video out there, <laughs> you know, because it seems like no matter what I do, if I release all the videos at once, it seems like all the water signs tend to watch my videos, especially cancer the most. Now, I don't know if that's because I'm a cancer and that's why cancers are watching it the most, but you know, I'll have maybe 4,000 here and, you know, 1,800 here, although I'm very appreciative of any of you. I want to say that because there's a lot of great talented readers out there. So I appreciate whatever I get. But I just want to let you know, it just feels weird to like be sitting on a video for five days. And I'm like, you know what? Someone could be viewing this and it could help them. So those are my two announcements. Okay, let's get on with your mid-month love and general readings. Thanks. Hi, Leo. Welcome to your mid-month reading. I just had to show you this. I just thought it was too cute. You know, Nicholas does, he's always around, but he doesn't always jump up on the table. And he, he seems to come around whenever I'm doing a Leo reading. So... I just had to share this with you. I thought it was too cute not to share. So, all right. So let's get to your mid-month reading. Remember, if this does not resonate, watch your moon and or rising sign. And these are energies that I'm picking up as of now. So I think today is technically June 5th. So... Uh, watch your June monthly readings. If that does not resonate, definitely watch the mid-month. This may be in addition. I have no idea what's going to come up. Um, I do uh, also recommend that you watch your moon and or rising sign. And I have been told many times that my moon readings sometimes resonate more than any other reading. Now, the only thing that I equate that to is that I am a Cancer and we are influenced by the moon. 
thus moon water tarot. <laughs> but um, I do want to talk about this with you. What I'm getting is, and I don't feel like it's you. I really don't. But there's something about ego or egocentric or self-centered. Uh, something about the ego, letting go of the ego, finding that balance in your life. There could be somebody that you are dealing with and I feel I'm getting the word a bit self-centered in its extreme form. They could be narcissistic. Uh, yes, that could represent you, but I'm not feeling it that way. I feel like there's something in your life that I get just like the cancer reading, stop, start, stop, start. I kind of picked that up also, I believe, for Libra a little bit. Uh, so an air sign like Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius may be of importance. Okay, but let's see what comes out because I feel like... There is something that is trying to renew itself. And I think I'm going to just start right here because that card kind of slipped. I'm not even going to cut it. The Four of Wands in reverse. And I think this came up for Capricorn. Okay, so this to me, Four speaks of foundation, structure, and stability. This may also be, it can be very indicative of, I mean, obviously it can represent you and having to rebuild something or deciding whether or not, you know, kind of weighing your options, how you want to move forward. If you want to move forward with the situation or with this person, this can also be indicative of a move or, um, you know, some repairs on a home that maybe need to get done. Um, but the four does speak to foundation, structure, stability, and new beginnings. And in reverse, it's like something has been put on hold. So let's just see what comes up. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. And I'm just saying that because usually the death card does not come out in the reverse position in my readings. And um, there is a feeling of the inability to kind of move on from a situation. So this could be someone or something is bringing you down. And I feel like there's, excuse me, um, Scorpio may have some significance because that's what this represents, but I feel like something has really kind of where maybe there was movement, it's there's stagnation and let me just see what comes next before I start. Boundaries. I'm getting the word boundaries is of significance. Um, also, some of you may be going through a legal situation, and this may be regarding, um, it may be regarding a home, an actual, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, my battery is so low that... Uh, let me see if I can lift this a little bit. My battery is so low. I apologize. Um, it's affecting the, the viewing. Um, so this may be an actual physical home. There may be some legal issues going on or a lawsuit going on regarding an heir, an estate, an heir, I mean H-E-I-R, 
an estate situation or even a home. And I feel like there may even be boundary issues. Like someone's on the defense mode is kind of what I'm getting, especially, you know, through faith and resilience and persistence and not giving up. I feel like you will get through this. Because you are the fire sign, you are Leo. And the wands represent Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Um, I feel like something has been possibly, there's been an ending or a loss or a decision on how do we end things. But I want to see what else comes up. So there's a decision to be made. Um, some of you may also be very indecisive, not uh, being able to choose. You're being pulled in two different directions. Like your heart might say one thing and your thoughts say something else. And I feel like there's also possibly been some pain in the past. That you're not done, you're not through healing with. And so it's kind of, you're having a difficult time, like how do I move forward? How do I begin again? Your thoughts are there. Because I feel like your thoughts, there's something uh, with the past that has not been resolved this also could be indicative of somebody else. I don't know. I uh, There's something, I think, legal going on. I really do. Or maybe there's a lack of accountability. Somebody's not wanting to see something. You may not be wanting to see something. Uh, but it may be the other person. It may be that you are fighting for your boundaries and it could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra that is not wanting to hear you or see what it is that you are saying. But I feel like there's this inability to move. Like somebody is wanting to take a stance and kind of defend their territory. They're, um, they're ready to fight something or someone. So let me just see this card. Oh my gosh, the Empress. The Empress. So I feel like um, some of you are definitely, this is like a growth cycle that you're going through. Uh, Taurus may have some significance. I feel like there's been quite a bit of delays and it's there is a decision to make in terms of, I feel like you're starting over. You know, we have the death card. I, I feel like where you're feeling stuck, you might have to go backwards in order to go forward. But I do feel with the Empress here, the number three may be of significance. But the Empress, yes, does represent to me abundance. It represents nature. It represents fertility. It represents comfort. So maybe there's uh, been delays in terms of building something. This could be building a relationship. This could actually be building a building. Like some of you may have some repairs or something to do on a building. And some of you, I think, are deciding on what direction to move in. And especially with this Two of Swords. But there's something that you, you really have to see in order to um, to make a decision. 
Like, don't go into something blindly. Weigh your options. Because I feel like there's, there's something difficult, I feel, that maybe you are hanging on to or someone that you, that maybe is hanging on to you. Maybe you're the, you know, you're ready to move on, Leo. You're ready to start something new. The number three speaks of growth, beginning new adventures. It's the initial achievement of goals. It's expansion. It's very much a spiritual number. So when I get this, like June 3rd, June 12th, June 21st, June 30th may have some significance. May also, I'm getting the message, be a time where maybe you have lost somebody. There has been somebody that has crossed over. This, Like I said, this normally does not come across to me as death, but I feel like this may have happened. It's also when there's a, a loss or death, an ending, there's the potential for growth and new beginnings. And that's what's really important. You know, this situation, I feel like, may have left you hanging somehow. But I feel like whatever this is, you're going to get through this. This is a turning point in your life for some of you. And it doesn't mean that it's going to conclude. I want to see what's at the bottom. I'm just being led. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The lovers. So this can be definitely a love union. I'm trying to kind of make it so. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this represents also June. It's a six month. It also represents Gemini. It's also uh, Archangel. Well, I, I, oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know why. I am so sorry. I don't know why that happened. Um, huh. That's interesting. And we have the Emperor. Okay. The lovers for me, I feel well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, there you go. And you are Leo. We've got Aries here as the emperor. Uh, another four. So I feel like this may be indicative of a move. As I said, could be indicative of rebuilding something or home repairs. But I also feel like it's regarding love. I think that some of you have a big decision to make in June or you are waiting to hear from somebody regarding their decision, regarding their home or their household. Something I feel like is going to be offered to you in some aspect But I will say this, because I don't like these cards next to each other or even the lovers. I really don't. Um, there's something about boundaries and setting boundaries and not allowing. I'm getting, once again, I feel like there's somebody where do not, do not give up on you on yourself, um, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Like, 
And what I mean by that is don't forsake yourself for somebody else, for another person that may not be able to commit themselves fully to you. Like you don't want to be a third person is what I'm saying, especially with the lovers here. And I, you know, this, uh, <laughs> I was just trying to look at the card underneath, but these cards came out. We don't want to, uh, you know, what goes around comes around and you have to live with, with the decisions that you make. And if there is somebody in your life, they have to live with the decisions that they're, that they make. Uh, but this is often, I feel like, uh, betrayal or deception, trying to get away with something, not really discussing things or giving kind of, you know, half truths. It's not fully, um, embedded in honesty because there's two swords left behind. The emperor in reverse can be quite, quite domineering, unhappy, um, difficult to deal with, can be very strict, can be, you know, it's my way or it's the highway. If you don't like it, that's your problem. Maybe that's where the narcissism comes in. So this could be an Aries that you're dealing with. They're definitely, as I said earlier, Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini now stands out here. And some of you have a decision to make, or as I said, it may be a decision that you are waiting to hear from. But do not give up your power. Remain in this position. Because I'd rather be the Empress in this position than the Emperor in this position, even though... As we go up the major arcana, yes, it does go from a three to four, but I'm not liking this in reverse. It's almost like self-indulgent or, um, you know, my needs come first. And you fit into this puzzle. And, um, and I feel like there's a need to kind of take back your power or maybe... Uh, you don't see that you have the power or you have given that away. And so, but I, I feel like something is stuck that most likely by the end of June, especially with Gemini here, becomes unstuck. So there's an opportunity for that to happen. So, but just remember, as I said, choose wisely. Don't just, you know, run off and take a leap of faith. Um, I mean, sometimes that can be very positive. But with these cards here, I feel like you've got to kind of, you know, weigh the pros and cons. You need to look at this from like an objective position, whatever this is. This may be a decision in terms of, do I stay where I'm working? Do I want to live where I'm at? Did I, uh, am I going to end a relationship or maybe somebody ended it with me? And how do I handle that? Maybe there is a third person, especially with the number three or a choice to make of whether or not I start a new relationship with somebody. I feel like Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus may have some meaning. So there's definitely, the lovers can represent, yes, a lover. It can also represent a big decision. But with the Knight of Cups here, male or female, I do feel like some of this is revolving around love. And... um but boundaries need to be set because I feel like somebody is running all over somebody and we don't want that to happen. You know, 
And this may even, um, I think I said this earlier, be a legal issue. I'm getting something about judgment or legalities. Something like that. So it could even be uh, child custody, child support is another thing that I'm getting. Or something legally regarding a home. Because we do have two fours here feel like, you know, there could be a situation where maybe somebody promised to build something. Now, it could be a, a, a take on building a relationship, building a business, and they kind of left you abandoned, like they, they just left, and it was whatever was promised was not given. But I feel like there's something positive to be learned from this and that can come out of it. So don't forget that. But just remember, as I said, karma, what goes around comes around. You don't want to be the third party if there is, if you are the third person. You don't want that to be that way. Um... I, I just get that somebody is possibly really kind of trying to stake a claim or control something that they really have no business controlling. You know, I always say, if you're not happy in a relationship... Resolve that relationship before you go jumping into another. Don't keep, that's where that leap of faith, don't just jump into something new. Because you're taking that energy of that resolution or that lack of resolution with you. You're taking that energy, that vibrational level. It's going with you. You need to let that go and resolve that before you start on your growth cycle. Okay, so these are just some messages that I'm getting. Of course, if you would like a private reading, you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. I also do provide the video readings, so... Um, be happy to read for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will be talking to you soon. All right. Bye.